Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hello and welcome to Teach Me Tech, a show where we walk you through amazing demonstrations of the latest technology so that you can get step-by-step -step instructions on how to get things going in your business. I'm Laurel Gray, and this is the fabulous, wonderful Carl Taylor, who is an amazing automation expert, and he's here to share with us Active Campaign. And today we're going to talk about how to get started with Active Campaign. All right, but a couple of things before we get going, so bear with me. First thing, follow along. So if you are at home watching this on your maybe on your laptop. Make sure that you've got your laptop there. You've got maybe another screen available, a tablet, and your mobile device so that you can get on and activate things as we go along. The second thing is to make sure that you ask and share. So if you are on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Google, or Google+, I know not that many people are on Google+, but it might be you. Use the hashtag, hashtag, Teach Me Tech, and we'll be sure to interact with you as you watch the episode. All right, so without further ado, what are we going to cover on today's episode about Active Campaign? Can you tell that I'm so excited about this? I can absolutely see ah. you're excited. Super excited. What are we going to cover? So, first thing, what is Active Campaign and why you should consider using it in your business? How to choose the right plan for you and for your business, not only based on price, but also based on functionality. How to get started and actually set up your free trial account. An overview of the dashboard and how that works. Creating your first list and understanding tags, what are they? Importing your contacts for the first time, which can be tricky if you don't have a little bit of a demo. Setting up your first campaign. Understanding automations and how they work. Thank goodness we have Carl here. And finally, some additional features and integrations and when you might want to start using those with your business. Okay? So without further ado, let's get started. Let's do it. Oh, I'm really excited about this. What is Active Campaign and why should you consider using it in your business, Carl? Because there are so many different options available on the market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are. start first. What is Active Campaign? What is Active Campaign? Active Campaign is uh, often called a CRM, um, but more specifically, it's a marketing automation platform. So it is designed to do email marketing and capture leads, either online or existing leads and clients you have, and allow you to nurture that, automate your marketing and sales process. Mm. Yeah. Great. So given that it's email marketing, CRM, we know we have all of these fantastic options on the marketplace. We've got MailChimp, we've got Entreport, we've got Infusionsoft, we've got a whole plethora of options. Mm -hmm. Why would you consider using Active Campaign over some other tools, especially like MailChimp, which might be free? Yeah, definitely, great question. So MailChimp is very much a broadcast type tool in that you can import your clients or leads and you can then send a broadcast to those people, uh, meaning you send out an email, it might look very visual and pretty, um, and it does have some automation functions, but its automation functions are very limited, and the way you manage it, and we'll get into this in a little bit, is very much just list-based. So people belong to a list, and you can send an email to that list, and that's about the depth of automation and control that you get with that tool. Whereas a tool like Active Campaign, it gives you the same functionality that you get in MailChimp, plus so much more. So you get mm -hmm. um, much more if-then type rules. You can also get what are called tags that allow you to segment your contacts closer. So you could have one list filled with clients and leads and you know, partners and whoever else you might be dealing with. So there's a mm -hmm. lot, of, lot more that you can get out of a tool like ActiveCampaign than MailChimp. Um, as for the other tools like Infusionsoft and Entreport, um, Sometimes your business doesn't need all the bells and whistles and functionality of those higher end tools. An active campaign is, has pretty well all of the same automation features as Entreport and Infusionsoft. Uh, doesn't have the same price tag to get started, but it also doesn't have things like e-commerce functionality, so payment processing. It doesn't have an affiliate system, which if you don't know what that means, it's totally okay. Um, because it probably means you don't need it, and active campaign is perfect for you, so it's good you're watching this episode. Mm. 
So it sounds like what you're saying is there are pretty low barriers to entry with getting started with Active Campaign. Absolutely. Versus those more expensive options like Entreport or Infusionsoft, mm -hmm. which often have got some kind of onboarding process that they walk you through that's mandatory. Now, does Active Campaign have something like that as well? There's an optional one on one training if you go on their higher plan or their middle plan, but uh, it's not required. Mm. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. It's you kind of sign up and get started, yeah. and you'll see very quickly how uh, easily you can get started. Awesome. This is so exciting. Yay! Now, one last question. Yes. Now, if let's say I have a business and I've got an email marketing list on MailChimp. Is it required that I bring my mailing list over from another email marketing software? Or could I just actually start from scratch if I wanted to? Yeah, great question. So it's not required at all. It's completely up to your choice as to what you do. Um, sometimes a really good strategy here is actually not to bring across all your contacts from an existing system and instead mm -hmm. send an email from a tool like MailChimp, sending them to somewhere where they can request to opt in to your new list. Ah, okay. So that can be a really good strategy. But if, if you don't want to, if you just want to bring them across, you can do that too. Okay, that's really helpful. Thanks for clarifying on that. My pleasure. Because I know it's really hard when you're starting off to know what is appropriate to use um, for a contact list and what's not. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. one, one thing that's definitely not is collecting business cards at an event. Mm -hmm. Someone just happens to give you a business card. That is not by legal standards an opt-in, and mm -hmm. you are not legally allowed to put them on a list and start emailing them. You are breaking spam laws if you do that. Right. And it's, it's getting a lot stricter here in Australia mm -hmm. and definitely across, across the globe on that. Mm, great, good tips. Awesome, I think that we're ready to go on to the next section, which okay. is actually the, choosing the right plan for active campaign that's gonna work best for you and your business. Um, and I might actually get you to hop onto the active campaign Let's do it. site, what do you think? Yeah. All right, awesome. So maybe you can give a little bit of a walkthrough, Carl, on uh, the landing page and what you see when you first go to the active campaign website. Definitely. And walk us through some of the plans as well. Sure. So uh, what you should be able to see here is this is the active campaign uh, website. Uh, it's got this fancy little automation up here telling you, or, or animation if you like, telling you what all their features are. And really what they talk about here is that they're an all-in-one marketing platform. Now, when they say all-in-one, they're actually a little different to a lot of the competitors out there who truly are trying to build all-in-ones with landing page builders and fancy um, affiliate systems and payment processes. Active Campaign isn't trying to do that. They're focusing purely on the communication aspect of marketing, the email side of it, the marketing automation, and the managing that sales and CRM pipeline. Um, and I think that that's a really good focus to have. So it kind of gives you a quick tour of all the key features. You can go through and, and browse through all the different features. You'll see screenshots of what it looks like, the visual builder, and we'll jump into this shortly. Uh, and they talk about that they're really happy to chat, and they really are. They have great um, customer support, their live chat features, their email support, they're very uh, friendly and uh, always willing to assist in any way they can. And it's being used by you know, hundreds of thousands of businesses, as they say here. And also, one of the things that a lot of people don't know is they think Active Campaign is actually a new company. But Active Campaign have been around since 2003 in doing email marketing. They used to be an on-premise software. So they used to be software that companies would install on their own uh, servers, and, and they've only more recently moved, made the switch to the software as a service hosted oh. model. So they're not a new company, they've been around and they're very experienced in software development and email marketing. So they're a really great company. Um, so that's kind of an overview of them and their homepage, but let's jump straight into the pricing, which everyone's mm. probably wanting to know, right? Absolutely, and when I first went to the pricing page, I thought, well, this is a bit complicated because you have quite a few different options. Yeah. Um, so the way they work is based on contacts. The more contacts you have, the more, uh, the more it's going to cost you. Now, one of the things that's different about Active Campaign and tools like MailChimp, for example, is that they work on a contacts basis as well for their pricing. But in MailChimp, if a contact belongs on more than one list, then that actually is counted as two contacts. It's not one contact on multiple lists is one contact, whereas Active Campaign, it is purely the contact. Ah, if that contact okay. lives on 10 lists, and if that's mm -hmm. too confusing for you, don't worry, it'll all make sense mm -hmm. shortly. But if you do have MailChimp, just be aware that it's not directly, if you've got 1,000 contacts in your MailChimp account, you might find when you come to Active Campaign, you only have, say, 800 contacts. 
So it's got this drag drop you can change to see their pricing options, and it updates live down the bottom across three different types of plans. You've got your basic, your plus, and your enterprise. Now, I'm going to guess that for the majority of people who are watching this, you don't need the enterprise plan. Mm. Um, enterprise plan is truly for enterprise, corporate, bigger companies, where you're wanting a lot more hand-holding, you're wanting a dedicated account rep, um, and you're needing a lot more support. So for the majority of people, you will find, especially if you're a small business, that all you need is either the basic or the plus. And the key difference between these plans, and I'll bring it back to show you exactly what the starting price point is. 500 contacts, it starts from $9 a month or $49 a month for the plus. And the key difference here is that on the plus plan, you get the CRM and sales automation which is um, giving you more control of like a sales pipeline. And you also get some fancy things like custom domains and custom branding. It's not that important, mm -hmm. but you also get SMS marketing. That's probably one of the big differences. And then if you've got multiple users, then you get up to 25 on the plus plan versus only three um, mm. on the smaller plan. Okay, but you, know, you could always start with sort of the basic mm. Uh, the basic plan, which includes just the email marketing. I know that's what I did uh, for my business. And then later went, okay, right, I know I've got to get the, the CRM and the sales pipeline stuff in and upgrade later, right? Correct, absolutely. You don't have to sign up for that at the start. No, and it's very easy to upgrade mm -hmm. and downgrade. So even if you started on Plus and all of a sudden you discover, well, actually, I'm not using this and I don't need it, I just need the email automation, you can downgrade back down to the basic plan as well. Great. Yeah. Awesome. That's, that's great. Thanks for sharing that. Pleasure. Um, I'm just wondering as well if we can maybe walk through a little bit of how to get started and set up that actual account. Absolutely. Because really, if you're at home, how long is the free trial? Uh, I think it's 14 days. They, mm. they have changed it recently, so I'm pretty sure it is 14 day free trial. Beautiful. So maybe you can walk us through how we can set up for that free trial. Absolutely. Which settings you recommend that we activate right from the start mm -hmm. and we can get going. Let's do it. Let's jump right in. So it's super simple to get started. Uh, you can just click on their big button here that says try it for free. And uh, here you go, 14 day trial, exactly. No credit card is required. All you need to do is put in your company name. So uh, I know that we have a company name that you like to use yeah, here. Yeah, it's very complicated. It's called Demo Company. Demo Company, <laughs> yeah. And the email address is? Admin at demo.company. All right. Uh, obviously, you should read the terms and services policies before creating the account, just so you are aware, but I've done that already, so I'm going to create the account. It's here, it's given, ask me the question, do I mean demo.com? Because we're using an interesting email address here, it is checking that it is correct, but that's okay, we can just keep clicking create account to keep moving forward. And it's just going to take a moment to create the account. Um, as it says here, it's applying the finishing touches and it's going to log us straight in to the dashboard. It was as easy as that. We've put in our email address and the name of our company, and now it's asking us to set our password. It's going to ask some information about who we are. Um, what you say here is not that relevant to how the tool works. It's more just questions that they're trying to learn about their own customers to know more about what you're interested in, um, what options they could potentially upsell you in, really. Oh, okay. So um, it's not that important what you put in here. So we'll set a password, I suppose. Um, and it might be a little bit small. We can always just make the screen a little bit bigger. Definitely. Just so everyone can see. Perfect. Oh, I see there. Okay. So it says, what are you interested in? And you, it doesn't really matter what you tick. It's just no. for, for their purposes. So Great. you can see here, it asks us what type of help would you like. I prefer self-serve. I may want a little assistance. And this will trigger from their end mm. automations as to who will reach out to you for extra assistance yeah. if necessary as well. That's so. a super good point because I know, you know, like I've trialed Infusionsoft before and then you end up with a lot of phone calls afterwards. Mm -hmm. Are they going to actually call you from ActiveCampaign if, if you, you ask for assistance? If you ask for assistance, you will get support reaching out to you. I don't know if they start with a phone call. I think they'll start with email. So, okay. Yeah. All right, great. That's good to know. Um, lovely. And so it loads you after that really quick um, questionnaire, it loads you straight into the dashboard. Absolutely. And I can see in the upper right-hand corner that Colin... To continue enjoying this presentation, download Brin, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Brin.ai or search the App Store today.